We're at Intel's labs down in Santa Clara. We're gonna check out some of the virtual reality, multi-sensory experiences that they're testing and building here to put into their next generation headset and hardware. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to check out. Let's go see it. So at Intel, not only do we, when we think of merged reality, we look at not only our silicon, but how our silicon goes into different solutions and experiences. Yeah, so this is our human motion uh, interaction analysis station. Uh, the reason we have this station is because VR, MR, and AR solutions out there today uh, are really about interacting in 3D space. This is our solution to analyze it. And when I say analyze it, um, we look at things such as accuracy. So in this scenario specifically, you can imagine a user is pulling out their sword and stabbing at a dragon. You want to make sure if you aim for the dragon's head or his heart that the user is able to hit that head or heart. If, if the dragon is able to evade your attack because the device didn't update in time, it's going to frustrate the end user. We see tremendous advancements in the way that VR and, and, and merged reality and, and in the future uh, different types of systems and experiences are being brought to market and when you look at technology today, it's a great baseline for our capabilities. And so what you're going to see is some of those capabilities today and then as we go off and plan some of the landing spots of where technology is evolving to, how we can go off and plan ahead with our partners. So here we have our head and uh, robotic arm set up where we can perform motions and capture content just like a user would see. Uh, so it's going to perform a couple roll pitch and yaw motions within the biomechanical limits of the human neck. Uh, all the while we would be capturing what's going on inside the head mounted display with our high speed cameras. Uh, we later take that footage off of these cameras and then do some post processing with our in-house developed software called Vices, uh, which helps us extract the metrics that we're looking for like motion and content latency, frame rate and a number of other visual metrics. The, the market is still evolving. It's evolving from AR, it's evolving from VR, it's evolving from, from merged reality, it's evolving from PC connected, and it's evolving from, from mobility. For, I think it's difficult for anyone uh, in any, any one of those aspects to really determine what the end game is going to be, but I think you're going to see a tremendous amount of innovation in all those different areas, and Intel certainly is participating in all those.